In the times of ancient Rome, amidst the dust of history, lies the genesis of gladiator sport. It was a time when the Roman Empire struggled against its own turmoil, and amidst the chaos emerged a spectacle that would enthrall generations, the dawn of the gladiator sport. The origins of this brutal yet captivating sport can be traced back to around 100 BC. What began as somber funeral rites to honor fallen warriors soon evolved into organized contests held in makeshift arenas. These early gladiatorial matches were modest affairs, with combatants wielding swords and shields in gritty displays of skill and valor. However, as the appetite for entertainment grew, so too did the spectacle of the gladiator sport. The transformation of gladiator fighting from solemn tribute to grand spectacle was catalyzed by the construction of the Ludi Gladiatorum. These institutions, overseen by shrewd Lanestai, became crucibles of combat training, where aspiring gladiators honed their skills. The popularity of gladiator sports soared as these trained fighters dazzled audiences with their prowess in the arena. In the early days of gladiator sport, the fighters were often drawn from the ranks of prisoners of war and slaves, who had little choice but to become gladiators. However, as the sport gained popularity, a new class of gladiators emerged, the volunteers. These were free men who willingly entered the gladiator schools in pursuit of fame, fortune, or a chance to escape their mundane lives. Despite the risks, they saw the arena as a path to glory, willing to risk life and limb for a shot at fame and fortune. Gladiators, once ordinary men, became revered figures, celebrated for their courage and prowess. Thus, the stage was set for the ascent of gladiator sport to its zenith. During its heyday, Gladiator sport reached unprecedented heights of popularity and grandeur. The middle era of gladiator combat saw the construction of monumental arenas, such as the iconic Colosseum in Rome, dedicated solely to hosting these spectacles. These colossal structures, capable of accommodating thousands of spectators, became the epicenters of entertainment across the Roman Empire. The gladiators themselves ascended to the status of cultural icons, their exploits immortalized in art, literature, and even politics. Gladiator matches became elaborate affairs, featuring not only fierce combat between warriors, but also exotic animals, elaborate sets, and dramatic reenactments. The atmosphere in the arenas was electrifying, with crowds roaring in excitement as gladiators clashed in mortal combat. For the spectators, gladiator sport was more than just entertainment. It was a reflection of their society's values, a celebration of strength, honor, and courage. Yet, amidst the splendor of the arena, the grim reality of gladiator combat persisted. Many fighters faced injury, even death, in pursuit of glory, their sacrifices immortalized in the annals of history. As the Roman Empire faced internal strife and external pressures, the era of gladiator sport began to wane. Changing societal attitudes, coupled with the rise of Christianity, led to increased scrutiny and criticism of the violence in the arena. Emperors such as Constantine the Great sought to appease Christian sensibilities by limiting or outright banning gladiatorial contests. The final blow came with the decree of Emperor Honorius in 404 AD, officially abolishing the games and bringing an end to centuries of spectacle and sacrifice. The closure of the arenas marked the end of an era as gladiator sport faded into memory. Yet, its legacy endures, a testament to the resilience of human fascination and the enduring power of ancient spectacle. Today, the echoes of the arena still resonate in the pages of history, reminding us of the triumphs and tragedies of those brave souls who once fought for glory in the sands of the arena. After the end of gladiator sport, the Roman people sought new forms of entertainment to fill the void left by the closure of the arenas. One popular replacement was chariot racing, a thrilling sport that pitted skilled charioteers against each other in high-speed races around specially built tracks called circuses. These races, held in massive stadiums, attracted large crowds eager to cheer for their favorite teams and drivers. Chariot racing became a beloved pastime offering excitement and spectacle similar to that of gladiator combat. The legacy of gladiator sport lived on in the hearts and minds of the people, but chariot racing emerged as the new reigning sport of ancient Rome. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more, 
Follow us for more videos.